and the button has been pushed. Say hi. Hi, hi, hi. hi. What the Hello. fuck is that? Uh, welcome back to MLPTG, the Banner Mains, episode 25. Uh, what will happen today? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. As for what happens last time, uh, I think we had a volunteer for session recap last time. Yes, I'll be doing it. All right, go for it. All right. So, we had just gotten finished fighting in the caves, nearly dying multiple times, making it out by the skin of our teeth. When we all regained consciousness, uh, the mare shocker, or not mare, she was a hippogriff, the, the female shocker was unconscious on the ground. We built a gurney, finished searching through the rest of the caves, found nothing, and as we exited, we came across a new member of a Banner Main sorority chapter called the Banner Mares. He goes by the name of Swift Sail wearing a conical hat, and uh, he managed to escort us all the way back to the High Rollers Bannermain headquarters. Some uh, violent interrogations revealed to us that Buckback did indeed send us on a wild goose chase. Uh, the key was nothing more than a ruse to get us uh, trapped inside the caves and then killed. Um, so Buckback, as we know it, is still at large, but we did manage to get him out of Dakali and hopefully out of Bleakburn's hair for the time being. Uh, let's see. We we also discovered that uh, the the female shocker who had fought us was placed under a Gius. Uh, she decided to live and is going to go live in Crimin Isle for the time being. We have concluded that our business is more or less done here in Dakali, so we need to continue on to Weldstone to find Aetherstone. And you know, share a position in the banner means. Oh, uh, was that? Well, um, well Cher, Cher definitely, yeah, Cher definitely needs us to get the Aether Stone, otherwise she'll be fired. So it's important for her to find it. All right. Okay. And uh, we're going to start session today, midday after the day that you guys kind of woke up um, and talked to your, uh, you know, tortured friend, quote quote quote. Um, it was about midday, and it seems like people aboard your airship are getting ready for your departure you've already said goodbye to the main stitch I take it you guys are on the landing currently yes sure yes All right. I don't really have anything else so. the grandest of airships is presented to you with a big float on top and everything it's very nice and uh, as such you do see your uh, robotic uh, clockwork uh, captain uh, Effectively, like giving you guys the, the go ahead that you're good to board. All right. Uh, we're we just did leaving have... Silver Tongue and Jill then, right? What was that? Well, we... we're just leaving Silver Tongue and Jill then, right? What's up? Well, I was about to bring that up. Yeah. Our captain will inform you that they are leaving in three hours, so you have three hours to do things. Okay. We could get him out of jail. We also need to make sure that Fireheart is with us before we leave. Uh, Silverpunk's a big boy. I'm pretty sure Fireheart already knows. I'm sure she would have seen the papers by now. We can do a once-over to see if she's here, but I have yeah, no doubt. Yeah, let's, let's see if she's uh, on. I, I do have to read one thing for the audience here, which is the article that Moon Planner found at the end of the last session by the Flat Truth that are... Oh right, yeah. that, that our uh, that our viewers have uh, not uh, heard because you know it's not in the world animal yet. The article that was uh, that you found was called "The Omelet: An Investigation." A fourth day since our chief investigators set out to investigate the big omelet. Uh, for our readers following along with the story, fear not for this wild ride has so far yielded safety for us all. The famed casino, the Revenge of the Rock, has thankfully been discovered to not be host to a dangerous rock egg. Our head news scout. Uh, chemtrails has also confirmed that upon flying uh, through the area over the uh, over the course of the week now, um, and thankfully no rocks seem to be hovering over the heads of us all, ready ready and waiting to snatch a pony up uh, or t uh, a, a pony or two up in those dangerous talons. Still, if the rock doesn't have it, question is who does? We've gotten reports of adventurers coming back saying things about magical disturbances in the autumn tar tips in the west end. What do large birds just love? Mountains. A whole lot of them. 
how they're hiding uh, how they're hiding them and the egg itself is a mystery. Only the most clever can find. And we're here to be an ear for the public to uncover the truth. This omelet ain't wrapped up yet. As for our investigators, well, as always, it's on to bigger and more important things. Where one lead falls, another rises. She's already got her eyes set on the next big venture. Another story. The Jokers. By T. Ryder. By T. Ryder? Mm-hmm. Oh, T. Ryder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's a potential lead out west on where we can find some more aether stone because we know that anywhere there's magical disturbances, that's where we're likely to find aether stone. Sure, or we could also just go to the places we were already told would be would have aether stone. So right. we we go to Weldstone are we going to Autumn Tara or we go to Weldstone first because that's the nearest location where we have a lead on aether stone. We got that from the guy who's assembling the circle that we uh, jumped in the, the black market. So once we conclude there, we have another lead out west. Yeah, I mean, might as well, because it's just right there on the way. It's not too far out of the way. Alrighty, and Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Or, sorry, Shabaka. Shabaka! No, thank you. He might not be here. Mm. I assume Shabak is out doing the things that he told me he'd be doing today uh, during his three hours. I'm oh, looking yeah. for Autumn Tara on the map. Autumn Tara tips is not something I have labeled on the Esteon map currently. Thank you. The, uh, okay. The Autumn Tara uh, tips are if you look in campaign or documents, I think if you scroll up toward the top, I think I labeled it somewhere. Yeah, I did. Uh, ah, I'm posting voice chat so you guys know where it is. Bonk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, GM, I found the uh, discrepancy. Uh, Hero Labs is uh, using automatic bonus progression, so that's where that those missing plus ones are. Ah. So I'll I do believe. Oh, okay. Nice, you were there. Yeah, don't do uh, don't do ABP. That's baby mode. It's not what we're about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh so, wait, is there like a church or a chapel or I'm something? Several. Yeah, there's there's several. Okay. There's the, there's the car priest. will go get like legally married, so it's like official. Uh, Which one will three do hours. the... <laughs> yeah, it's fucking like Vegas. I only need like 20 minutes. Yeah, I guess what? you can get married in a hurry. Yeah, uh, I, I, you I, need I, to be in a lab. You can have a ceremony so, later. What's going on? I squint because there is one of two places that you can currently go get married at. One is at Clarity's Temple. The other is at a temple that currently is empty because all of the Persians okay. have vacated. Clarity, then we'll just go back there. Already have a working relationship with her. Uh -huh. Well, very nice then. Uh, if you want to go there and get married, I'm going to slightly retcon that she gave you the geas last time, and she gives you the geas during the wedding ceremony in a very sneaky way. Look at that. So, are we expected to give gifts during the wedding? It's just a formality right now. This isn't the like Cere ceremony. It's just getting it on paper. <laughs> what am I call it a ceremony? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> None would call it that. Yeah, no. Like, you know, Sharon, I'm not bringing no gifts to this thing. You're not invited. You're a filthy fucking. Hey, Sharon, wow. since we're <laughs> married and kiss the bride, does that mean we can kiss all three of you? What? <laughs> you're since not invited married either, kiss the bride, we can kiss all three of you. So basically, None no one, no one, no one is invited. That's what I'm hearing. You're all halflings. Unless the brides decide to, then then I'll let you. But sure. I'm a falling. Are you? I guess you're uh, invited. As Jinx and Woo! Misty would say in their most horse way, the more the merrier. Yeah, I'm definitely coming. You're gonna have to stop calling my <laughs> wife whores, by the way. Nah, uh, I will call your wife a whore. Uh, because what are you gonna do about it, faggot? <laughs> This uh, way. Oh, so do... <laughs> just waiting, sir. Me and Warbler are cooking something. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't pull that. 
<laughs> no, sir. Can I call my wife whores? All like, right, all okay. right. I'll I will back off calling your wife a whore, uh, so you don't have to get off your jollies on your lard fetish. Can we call them prostitutes? <laughs> yeah. No. I shall call them wenches. Can I call them prostitutes? No, they're neither of those things. <laughs> they are wenches. You can get your fucking balls winched off, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, regardless, eventually Cher shows back up to her, uh, to your guys' um, ship with now what seems to be uh, a ring over her uh, horn. Well, there would be a ring over her horn if you want to spend the one gold it would cost to get yourself a ring. You literally cannot see it. Uh, well, I'm not Is it sure microscopic? if that's what you got or not, but if you want a ring, it's one gold piece. Why can't I get a cheaper ring? Because it's a gold ring. Why can't I get a silver ring? Because you're getting married under the church of Kara, and she has to go through the proper ceremonies of making you guys drink all the fancy things. Why wouldn't it be silver? I'm cheap. Uh, because... I know. I'll spend one gold. Alright, alright. There you go. One gold. You still can't see it. That's fair. There is a hat my, now my atop fucking... Cher's head. This is true. <laughs> this is the new development for everybody else. There is now a hat. Besides, it's still like 20 from uh, Tangent anyway. No, you didn't. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, I, asked, I forgot how many I stole, but it was a lot. You no, gave you didn't. Me, no, I didn't. Then, yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Remember, it was when we were going to go see Buck back, and then uh, I was going to give him that as part of your share for, for doing your job, and then it turned out Buck back was gone. Oh, I don't yeah. remember doing this. Thing... <laughs> you agreed. You were like, oh, this is probably this is probably back, this right? is probably before the system switch. And I, I was kind of confused. I'm like, wait, twenty you gold? Like, that's sure, a lot. Kinda... Like... I, it wasn't yeah, twenty. I... I forgot what it was. It was smaller, but like she was like, Sheriff's gonna pay me back, right? Right? <laughs> Realistically, never twenty answered. twenty gold now in PF2 is like barely a silver. <laughs> like. I don't know how much uh, they, they gave I, me. I do remember it was 20 gold, and it was uh, money that you were supposed to be giving to Buck back, and you convinced Tangent to uh, give you your, her share. Yeah, it was some amount of gold. I don't know. Who does that? Uh, well, in any case, uh, look at you guys upon your ship. Uh, the captain is kind of eyeing Swift up and down, up and down. Seems to be like... Considering, Swift uh, takes notice, and he's just holding up a very uh, confident, promising grin, and he just kind of looks at the captain as if expecting him to be acknowledged. Mm. Very well. What can we do aboard the airship to pass the time? Uh, we can play cards. We can train. <laughs> Swift, are you in uniform right now? Yes, Swift That's currently has... That's probably why he's looking at you, because you're not in your white instead. He has his uh, robe and his hats. You're technically out of uniform if you're aboard the ship, if this functions like the Navy. Do, is everyone else in a uniform? No. Hey, you're the one I'm... that's like a soldier. I'm... Like... Yeah, but on a wearing... boat ship, I'm... sea ship. I'm wearing a breastplate, but it's not like a, a uniform to be part of the banner mains. We just have our badges. Mm -hmm. Also, I think we should get our bard out of jail. No, he's wait. It's kind of late oh, no. for he, that. You've already left him. Yeah. yeah. No, we've, we've got at least. He's an adult. Out. We're already boarding again. Cher oh. went off, got married, everything. Yeah. Uh, Gauntlet uh, has. This guy's Gauntlet informed me ahead of time that this is what he was going to be doing today. I'm not sure if they're in here in call, though, but... Uh, they're here in call. I don't know if they're here, here. Chewbacca! I've heard them talk. This is why I have trust issues. Well, uh, your Persian friend uh, will be busting your Zebra friend out of jail today. Uh, okay, okay. We're, so he's committing another crime. Well, I say I say busting. He's just out. he's just going in there and paying the bail. So you guys understand, bail isn't a get out of free like 
there's limitations like you can't leave the city uh well i guess he's not here so i guess we can just say also this is medieval fantasy and magic and then fake and it's not actual police it would be even living. more uh regardless but you can't leave uh regardless uh, that is what they unless we're doing. unless we're gonna stow him away in just a room or something but we could probably just pay a fine because all he did was probably trespass and distract the guards pretty much what you're paying but i mean they locked him up because he kept trying to use spells on everybody yeah that's the salt <laughs> on okay. an officer okay i'm starting some new log notes <laughs> fair enough where's that good old police brutality when you need it all eyes turn to swift yeah swift i what <laughs> don't brutalize the zebra me yeah all I did was give him a tackle and a nice uh, fat smack on the head. Uh, the authorities take over. Uh, why don't you go take a knee, if you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we can we can get on board the ship. I just want to make sure Fireheart is aboard. Uh, did anyone check for her? Uh, Moonplanter is going to approach the captain and ask him if uh, Fireheart ever made it aboard. Uh the captain kind of thinks, uh, and in his robotic voice, uh, informs you that, uh, he did not see a Fireheart come aboard or not. However, lots of Bannermans kind of go off and on his ship, so he could have been mistaken. Uh, she would have been wrapped up That's in not very conclusive. her face. She's a Kieran. Uh, what was that? That's that not very funny? conclusive. Moonplanter would have said she would have been wrapping herself up and keeping her face covered. She's a Kieran. And he thinks. Uh, he didn't remember anybody with a mask, it seems. How do you Fair think point out, She might have been right disguised, now. by the way. Remember, didn't we give everyone scrolls of disguise? Did she take one? I don't think so. Hang hey, on, I, I, didn't, I, think... I didn't get a scroll of disguise. Well, he offered it to all of us. You're Only... just the type to go and do your crimes open face and then be shocked when you get pinned for it. I mean, hang on, uh... I, I think I know how to handle this. Our moon planter is going to pull out a copper coin. He's going to say, wait a minute. What is this? This looks like the, the signature of hard thing. Man, it's so strange to find this just out in the open like this. I better make sure I get this to the right person. You say those words. And the captain raises an eyebrow on you, saying, Lad, we're not even out in the air yet. Moonplanter looks around to see if he gets uh, <laughs> gets ambushed by Fireheart. Is she anywhere nearby? Or that you uh, don't find yourself ambushed. This is concerning. We should not be leaving without her. She's a big girl. She's technically stronger than all of us, actually. Uh, which we should probably be concerned about. <laughs> but, um... But she shouldn't be working alone, because we saw what happens when she's left to her own devices. Yeah. We need, to, we need to find her. All right. Uh, Captain, how much time left? To, how much time is left before we need to disembark? Mm. That one was hour. Oh. Oh, okay. What one hour? One hour. Okay. I'm they going to match your mic lighting up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was getting that to work. <laughs> Just like they didn't push the button in time. I was like, no. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. One hour. Uh, we've got our zebra out of jail. We've got marriage. I already got married. Yeah, that's we're what I'm gonna saying. Just store her wife's in in uh, her room. Cargo and bay. Then... And I need to get my business license. Oh, you're here now. Okay. Um, yeah. I assumed you were getting and... your business license and things in the off because you weren't talking. Okay, good. Yeah. That makes we sense. Can, if anything, I... we can leave a message uh, which, with the main stage. Uh, which means that I will need your roll, Shabaka. Blind if you could. Uh, here we go. Yo, what is it? Like a um, yeah. business? I mean... The mer mercantile lore. Mercantile lore. That's the one. Look at you go. Oh. Good luck. Hey. Oh boy, that was certainly good and or bad. 
Uh, and you leave instructions for your uh, for the people who are going to be running your stand in the off. All right. Uh, make sure you follow follow this UT, or else you'll be fired right on the spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're leaving them here with all your merchandise. They're without my you staff. being here. And the sea yes. uh, and the city of thieves. I'm sure. Yes, I did a. Uh, <laughs> I did background checks. Yes, our medieval background checks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're known to be exceptionally. Thorough. All right, I need to find uh, Fireheart before we leave, so we've got less than an hour to get her back to the ship. I'm gonna act. Leave a message I'm with free. the main stitch if it comes down to it, though. Uh, if you want to take care of that share, I'm gonna go looking for. Her. All right, I'll leave one with him. What's the message I'll you're leaving? You, Just uh, Fireheart, heart, you're. Uh... You're smelly, but we still love you. Uh, we're off to... Where are we off to again? Weldstone. Weldstone! And if you're ever in the mood, uh, me and my wives are always up for a four-way. Love, Cher. Not Moon Planner. He said we should just leave you. He's very mean. Cher fought to come and look for you. But sadly, he won out in the end. Gonna have to roll sense motive on your penmanship. I don't think you're the one reading that letter. Yeah, I'm... you already went off. That's yeah, right. Sealed. Um, so I'm going to be... Let's see, I need to set that to blind. So I've activated Hunt Prey. This gives me a plus two circumstance bonus to locate fire hearts. I'm going to start searching around the area where we last saw her wearing the mask, climbing up into the, the guard's shaft. Can I not... aid his searching? How are you aiding? Oh. Um, what do I roll to aid? Uh, you technically could roll the same thing, and you have to get over 20, which means it doesn't Is have to Is it survival? It is survival, yes. Okay. Well, that's untrained, so... We'll see. Isn't there a max you can get when it's untrained? Nope, that's PF1. Oh, shit. Uh, Stop changing the system. You don't, uh, you don't actually manage to increase his roll, uh, with your 13. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're just kind of like looking under things right now. And it's like things that clearly would not fit a fire heart regardless, uh, mind you. Uh, however, um, Moon Planner, you start looking around, round, round, uh, and you still can't seem to find her. If only we had Grot here. It probably wouldn't matter. If she, we told her to go with the wind and to pretty much disappear because of all the heat that was on us at the time. And if she's half as good at her job as, well, anyone who would be competent at their job, uh, she's probably long gone. I will note that a few moments later, uh, one of the um, one of the non-clockwork roommates kind of comes up from the top, uh, kind of poking his head above. I did what you asked. She's in the cage with a bunch of things. And the captain uh, kind of looks uh, looks back as he's like getting ready to go back to his quarters. Good job. And he says in a very monotone robotic way. It's pretty nice. Uh, and uh, the uh, crewmate kind of ducks back down under deck. All right, are we back at the ship? Uh, with I'd say we we would return to the ship quickly when there's about the fifty five minute mark. So do we hear him? Uh, yeah. What's in the cage? I asked the captain. It's probably uh, he fire. looks towards you, the green one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. probably well. that. She yeah, has lots of things in there to rip up. I'm sure she will be fine with her accommodations. I'll make sure to take care of her food and water, so that way you don't have to, Captain. He gives a nod. All right, we we searched as hard and as quick as we could for Fireheart, but there's no sign of her at all. So unfortunately, if she she's off, very good at her job, though, so that's a good thing. So, unless she's on board the ship right now, we're going to be leaving her behind. Alright, and you guys are taking off? Yep. yep. Hi. I... Yeah. I left the message. Uh, Sharon lets everyone know that she left the message with the main stitch. 
So eventually, I'm sure she'll wonder where we all are, and she'll probably make her way to the main stitch. All right, then we start our travel here. Look at that. As we begin our travel toward Ooh. Weldstone, I'm just going to kind of put this like little uh, line tool on here just to kind of guide the way so I don't have to keep zooming out. You, you can erase the other line. No, no, Ooh. that's an important line. Don't worry about it. Uh, so we put this line toward here, and you guys begin your travel. Uh, five squares per day. One, two, three, four, five. That's Get a us. lot of days travel. Uh, well, uh, normally you go, at, it's uh, two max uh, hexes per day, but you guys are in an airship. Look at that. Uh, and as the day... So fine, we should be able to go a little bit more than twice what we could walk. I mean, it's an airship. It's powering along. It is going more than twice you could walk. It's going five squares, it, not four. And it flies during the day and the night instead of just during the day. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's keep uh, going. Hang on. I got to advance to the next day. The 34th of Lashy is the final day. The I hope we don't is... have to deal with, like, dragons or air pirates or the something. The temperature is 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Scattered clouds, but mostly clear today. It's pretty great. Nice. Uh, How many days did we spend a day? It's a fine day for sailing. Well, I could look at Pretty the calendar much, yeah. after session for that bit. Um, All right, not important. But we are on the 34th of Lashy, and I need a D100 from somebody. Blind I want to do it. Too late. No! Oh, no! Moon planner! I'm going with moon planner. Uh, uh, wasn't blind. Thank goodness. So, yeah, Jesus What did Christ. I say? You know blind? What? what? No, you didn't say blind. Uh, what did I say blind? No, he did say blind. There you go. Blind. There it is, blind. I don't know. The one seems kind of funny. We're not going to <laughs> <laughs> I, I bring it on. Uh, no. I say bring it on. We we've been doing boring stuff. No, you should stop. Oh, you should stop. We've been getting, getting married in our glass encounter. Yeah, stop getting shitty rolls for us. All right, I did it. There you go. All right, okay, I'll keep in mind as we start our show with the 30 goals. Take party. what the wind throws at us. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I'll put a little X right here. Hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, right there. And a little X right here, too. I'm just kind of marking the days. And someone mentioned training. Swift isn't shy about <laughs> practicing his maneuver in flight off of the ship. Hey. During All right, these days. Dash. And Swift is jumping around over and on top With of the With his ship. rapier and he's ch 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 stab stab. Uh, the uh, captain Moon looks Planter less than amused. Moon Planter will join you off the edge of the deck and he will pull out his whip and he'll try to take your try to take your rapier away from you. Swift gladly uh takes takes on this training. Aha, uh -huh. well, your training is taken on as you begin training throughout the day. It's rather fun. Nothing eventful seems to happen, however, as you are gliding over the desert. It's usually really easy to see when things are far off into the distance. And below seems to be nothing but sand. Though, in the distance, you do see a small settlement. Settlement of Arcala. Look at that. Uh, we go to the next day, the 35th of Lashy, first day. All right, I need another D100 as we move our one, two, three, four, five. I'll take it. That was only four. Oh no! Dead! It's Dead! okay. I rolled. I rolled blind. What are you guys doing? Holy shit. Oh. What is wrong? What is wrong with your rolls? <laughs> what did I say? Blind? What? This is the second one in a row. Okay, cool. It's just the Why are the chances I, of that? I wouldn't even blame him at this point. <laughs> I'll have you know, if another one of you guys rolls a fucking one unblind, I'm gonna lose my mind. And <laughs> that's gonna be epic. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, is the airship gonna uh, crash in the desert? Don't worry about I it. I think that's so. We're gonna be stuck in the middle of nowhere. That's for me to know and you to find out. However, yeah, below, <laughs> the city of Arcala spans below you just briefly. It's kind of like a, you know, blink and you miss it sort of thing. It's a very small town. As you guys begin flying over once again. On this wonderful day, wherein the temperature is 62 degrees and is generally clear, nothing seems to be jumping out at you from the skies. Keep giving us the temperature. 
Like, yeah. 66 degrees. Not 70. Make sure you keep note. That is very important. We go to the 36 of last year. I need a double, another D100 as we get to 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Scattered clouds, but mostly clear today. Let's do it. Which <laughs> turn is oh. it to roll? I'll not do it. Oh my god. How do you. <laughs> <laughs> nice tangent. Nice. Nice. You f you I don't know what it is. It out. I'm assuming that means it was a 69. No, I, I think he means that she finally figured out how to roll blindly. Uh, your mom. Rolled how do you roll blindly? blindly? Just uh, you switch it to this. blind GM roll. All right, and as we start going on to the 36th day of Lashy. Uh, I need perception checks from everybody. Oh, oh no! Blind perception checks? Oh, yes. Is that what the little slash the over little the eye, eye is? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, I assume that's just like that? Yeah, there should be an option underneath with blind when you click the eye. Sure. Yeah, it was just... Yeah. Okay. I Share, I'd like to note that you see yourself a scattered cloud that looks vaguely like a Yushanka. It's really cute. Uh, the rest of you, however, hear some faint noise and singing over the clouds. Hmm? Some singing. Pegasus? These are the clouds above us that we're traveling through? Uh, yep, you're kind of sailing through some scattered clouds. As you start sailing them and you start hearing that noise, Different things start flying out toward the ship, and oh, you have yourself an encounter of harpies. Let them go. Um, oh, I thought it was like a traveling bar group that was taking a break on a cloud. That would have been much cooler. No, it's yeah. even better. You wish. You wish. I put these things. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Whoosh. Time okay. for an encounter. I'm Wait, do we have to just immediately assume that they're violent just because of their race they are flying at you yeah. with claws and teeth drawn well they, they're always drawn it's part of their body why isn't the airship loading ah uh, uh, give it a second it's, it's a stuck on 90 percent same yeah, for me give it a second or we could all just refresh i don't know fuck it who cares yeah, I'm refreshing. Refreshing typically solves like 99% of the issues and anything, so. Oh man, shares fucking uh -oh. 40 it's ass. It's not again. loading. Uh... Okay, it's not even loading foundry now. Uh, Fuck. yeah, I'm on the gray black screen. Uh. What I had to do last time is just close out of Foundry, actually, and just go back into it, so... Oh man, really? Okay. I'm refreshing. Uh, well, you might not be able to just refresh. You might have to close the tab and actually go back into it. All right, I'll, I'll try it. Uh, GM, while we're here, do... Crap, I forgot the question. Um, I'll ask it when I remember. Okay. Uh, actually, it's not working, though, still. Uh... God damn it, Mimi, why'd you fucking God break America. Foundry? I didn't break it. Also, uh, when you are able to load it, in the fist icon tab, uh, in case you didn't know Swift, you can push your initiative, which is that little dice button next to your token on the on the fist tab to your left. Yeah, right. I'll let you know when, when it finally loads for me, because it's, like, not loading anything. Mm. Aye, it's taking a minute. Yeah, it's not really working for me. Either. Oh, I'm in. Uh, hey, look at that. I I wait. Okay, yep. Now I'm in. I think it's something on your side because we all freeze and get in at the same time. Now I'm in. Yeah. And the little okay. airship is a gray screen, but yeah, if you give it a moment, gray. it'll probably blow. It's probably just taking a while. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm in. I'm in for good. Meme, if you want to host this on an actual server, let me know. Maybe that's Ooh. the problem, or maybe it's not. I wonder. I don't know. I like my initiative roll. Hmm. Yeah, you're starting off quick. There it goes. There we go. Now I can see it. Uh, what was it? It's the fist, and then you roll for initiative. Yay! Ooh, the fist. Wait, where's the fist? The fist. 
Wait, the harpies like, rolled a 30, 28, and a 22? Yeah. They don't sure we do. have cannons also? Uh, they I are do not loaded see... currently, but yes, you do. Either. I don't see a fist. The... In the upper right corner next to the text bubbles. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one. I thought you meant to roll initiative. I, yeah, I don't... And Amelia, can Amelia yeah. load... Amelia can do stuff. So... Uh, on your turn. Yeah, well, no. She gets her own turn. Uh, okay, I usually I, play I, by the familiars go on your turn rule. I figured out how to do the initiative uh, roll. Wow. I can add PF1 oh, as turn. well. Yeah, she gets her own turn, but she can only do a certain number of actions, unfortunately. I'm top of the order. Man, you really bop, wanted bop, to go bop, first. Bop, bop, bop. You get back here. Do I get more action? What? We've already move. started initiative. You are where you are. I assumed you guys were all on the deck, so I just kind of put you all on the deck. That, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Am I still? I, I thought I healed up from like. Wait, are I you assume, rotating yeah, me? Yeah, I'm rotating you guys upwards because it's annoying. Okay, uh, that's, like if, that's, uh, if that's correct, my thing is, I thought I healed up from the damage. Yeah, everybody's healed up, but you guys didn't change it on your sheet, dummies. Oh. Uh, I fixed it. The finest there. view we've had all trip. Hold it in. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, sorry, no. it just took me a minute to figure out what I was gonna do. Let's, all right. Uh, and with combat starting, we start with tangent. Did it drop that into the? the... No, it didn't. Oh, cleric, it's your turn. I'm, I'm casting Sun's Howl. Ooh, it's not letting me. You? Well, I would drop it into the chat, but it's not letting me. It's not letting me drag and drop it. You just click the little dice button when you hover over the icon. Oh, okay. There we go. And that oh. explains what it does. Read it for us. Read it for the chat. A loud burst of sun-driven roar lashes out at enemies around you, dealing 2d6 sonic damage plus your charisma modifier. So that's plus two. Make an intimidate no, no check. Make an intimidate check to demoralize, comparing the one roll to all our targets injured by the spell. So, um, it starts out heightened, so it's going to be doing 3d6 damage. Go for it. I'm not sure what the range on this is, but for now we're just going to go by auditory range. That makes sense. I can look it up. No, just... Alright, you shouldn't be doing these uh, blind, by the way. You're in combat. You can roll them. Oh. Alright, uh... Yeah, I guess we should figure out that range on that spell really quick. There, Tangent, you didn't put that in the macro. Yeah, uh, let me it look it up. Sun's it's Howl. In... I always have my stuff ready. Sun's Howl is a 30-foot burst, which means that if you're going to roll this, it's only going to work within 30 feet around you, unless you move first. Okay. Um, Are they within 30 feet? Use your ruler tool. They're not. Unless you they aren't? Oh, I see where they are. Is that 30 feet? Ah, uh, it looks so. Well, 35. Oh. So I can't reach them anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, they, I mean, they are off the ship. Damn it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just getting into position this turn, then? Yeah. All righty. If that's your turn, uh, we go to Swiss Sail. It's your turn. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna forewarn... I don't know if, how, what actions take or if I'm a. Uh, just correct me when I'm, if I'm playing wrong or what if I'm playing wrong, whatever. In PFP, right. you have three actions. Usually, everything yes. that you do is a normal action. So. So does taking his rapier out, 
in saying something count as well no saying something probably wouldn't um all right i guess he'll kind of shimmy a little bit into position i don't know is pulling the sword out count as an action it does so then he'll take one action to pull it out do you and have ranged attacks no but he's just <laughs> that's gonna be very awkward for this fight why he's a pegasus yeah, holy like... shit yes you are um yeah i forgot about that yeah so he looks over at the harpies that are off uh off deck he says if it's a piece you be wanting <sighs> bring it on i've got more than enough for the three of you and i guess he's just gonna kind of wait for them to engage yeah. i'm planning to do uh area of effect on them so just be careful and mindful of how close you get i don't know which order uh where when i when i am it doesn't actually say the area of effect but it says it's an aoe most of my of my spells are only in like 30 foot so i'm not be able to reach them most of the time oh it's swift if it's oh, a fight yeah. you want, you ask, and this one starts singing at you. I need a will save. Oh god, they're like sirens. Nice. Alright, will save. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, but can I make this oh. smaller? Uh, I can pop it out. Oh, I... With the 300-foot aura? Mm-hmm. Uh, which means that the rest of you also need to give me that will save. That's the hell of an aura. Yep. 300 feet? I told you, you could hear this from the distance. Alright, um, I have to find okay. my will save, so give me a moment to find it. Does that need to be blind? Uh, blind. I don't think so. Blind. Yeah, it's combat. supposed to be public. Yeah, yeah okay. public. Wait, okay. You're gonna Did know you if you fail or not. You were out by the road when you went for a Actually, walk. Actually, never mind. What? I, uh... The trash cans. Didn't you notice them when you went for a walk? It's Tuesday. Right. You should tackle it. Tuesday night. It's when we put them out. Okay. Caitlin no, already did. Yourself, also, when you bring it back up, yeah, got my, why are you hitting the handle against the house? Like, I'm literally. Can you her mom while she was talking like that? I gotcha. Uh, just ping me when you're, uh, when you're done there, uh, Tangent, and I'll unmute you. Why does it keep? I'm sorry, it keeps doing it in private for some reason. Uh, cause you probably have it set to private in the chat window. There we go. That's my role. There you go. No, I already got your role. No, that one was blind. Hey, you removed the. I other literally one. could just right click and reveal it, which is what I did. No, so. yeah, no, no, no. You don't need All to. All right, go. so Swift Sail, you managed to stave off the sound uh, itself. And from this harpy, at least, you are, uh, uh, oh, so this just says you are immune to captivating songs in general for 24 hours now, so not even any other hey. ones can get you. However, Moon Planter and Share this harpy Wait, I'm going to use the hero. Wait, what's the damage? Uh, <laughs> you didn't say you needed to use a hero point when you rolled it. What? You oh, gotta yeah. tell you, you gotta tell me when you gotta use those when you roll. Rolls. No, I've already oh, told no, I've already you told you the result of the roll. You, you gotta do it before you gotta yeah. do it before I give the result of the roll. It was supposed to be public though. Yeah, and I made it public. Sure, you're you're splitting hairs here, okay? You got a shitty roll, just move on. Yep. Uh, uh so here with your failures. Max uh yeah. the good news is that none of you guys crit fail, so look at that. Uh so Cher and Moonplanter can consider yourselves fascinated go ahead and right click yourselves and give yourselves that condition and note uh, that on your turn you must spend each of your actions to move closer to the harpy as expediently as possible while avoiding obvious dangers uh and uh that's uh that's that's uh well i guess that was only one action look at that he's gonna use a second action uh what's your uh, fly speed here let me just double check this one Fly. Oh. Ooh, okay, cool. They got a fast fly speed. Second action. Whoosh. Third. And uh, Swift, you are getting targeted with a uh, Talon. Look at that. Talon? Oh, a Talon. Yep. Ooh. Aye! Jeez. 
And a critical hit. And Can I do anything to protect myself or do anything? Nah, uh, well... Could on, could on your turn, but not this time. Uh, so critical on, damage to you. What could I have done on my turn? Uh, I guess that was one here. Hold up. Uh, nine. Uh, well, if you had like a shield or something, you could raise shield. Always think. Uh, that. Yep. Tangent, you got anything to unstupefy me and so, Moon? Hang on one second. That would be uh, roll nine. Oh Sorry. wait, shit, I forgot. Yeah, she's not here. Okay, five times two plus four. Uh Shibaka. You are take you here? a total of fourteen damage from the critical. Right. Uh so what you could do, yeah, okay, you already got a handle it. Look at that. Alright. And that was that harpy's turn. Whoosh. It is now this harpy's turn. Right over here. I'm gonna note this right over here. Oh, I suppose I should uh, roll Shabaka's will save, huh? Shabaka likes to leave on us. That yeah, so he's good. restarting his computer. Well, he fucking yeah. crushed it, I guess. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, Tangent, you also rolled yours, right? Just making sure. E yeah, yep. she rolled. Okay. This is true. Uh, so it is this Harpy's turn. Uh, who swoops in uh, toward... Who? Where is he going to swoop in? Tangent. Whoosh! One action. He swoops in, where in tangent, they claw at you twice. Let's see. Strike. And strike. Look at that. Uh, strike. Uh, the first strike comes out. It misses. The second strike comes out, and it misses. That was that harpy's turn. Nice moves by tangent. What are these modifiers though? All plus 15. I don't know what the plus 15 then minus 5 though. That does kind of defeat the point of having that huge modifier. The minus 5 comes from uh, follow up attack in turn. Ah, uh, yeah. You'd have the same thing. It's just a uh, universal rule. So it is now this one's turn. This one who does this sort of maneuver. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Let's be flanking with their bud. Uh, and this one will target a certain swift. Oh dear. Uh, so that was one move, so that way it would be first attack. And second attack. First attack hits normally. Second attack misses, which means that on the first attack there, you take yourself 10 points of slashing damage. All right. Boink. Look at that. Look at that, and we are on the next Harpy's turn. Uh, this wonderful one right over here, who is going to follow up with his friend and uh, move 60 feet there. Two actions to Talon at uh, the illustrious Miss Tangent. That's right, I'm talking to you, Tangent. Uh, really going after our healers tonight, DM? What? Did I mute myself? No, I told you to at me when you were done talking to your mom and I would unmute you, but I unmuted you now. You're good. You are just like yelling at your mom and I couldn't, uh, it was, it was, didn't want to do the thing. However, he is going to strike at you once and then twice. Look at you, Tangent. Uh, first one misses. The second one, however, makes its mark. Thankfully not Can critical. I raise my shield? On your turn, uh, you take oh. 15 points of slashing damage as the harpy uh, harpies you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me... Uh, where is that? Minus? There, there you go. go. Also, uh, uh, in case you, cause you probably missed it, me and Moonplanter are mesmerized. Or uh, what is it? Fucking, I don't know. Fascinated. Fascinated. Yeah. Which means on I your turn. Which means, which means on uh, you your. Gotta kill her. Hold on. Uh, which means uh, Moon Planner and Cher on your individual turns, you are trying to get to this harpy as quickly and expediently as you can while doing it safely. Right. So. I can't uh, fix that. I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. It is and not I'm... your turn. Oh wait, maybe I can. Hold on. Let's look up condition. It's his I don't turn. think you. It's just my turn on screen. It's Moon Planner's turn. Uh, no, it's my turn. That's All right, weird. so I moved 
I moved here, and um, that was only one action. So now that I'm here, I, I think the spell says I don't take any further actions, correct? Uh, yep. If your captivated creature is adjacent to the harpy, it stays still and doesn't act. Tapped by the harpy, the creature is freed from its captivation until the end of the harpy's turn. All right, and that won't be until the following turn. So I think that's all Moon Planter does. Do I get another will save? Uh, the effect only lasts a duration of one round. Okay. So, so pretty I... much at the end of this round, when you've used your turn, your thing is dead up. Wait, would okay. restoration work on mesmerized? Uh, it it won't matter by the. Well, I guess it could matter. Restoration is not for fascinated things. Oh, damn it. Gave the uh, description a read. Is... Yeah, I think Foundry's just bugged because now it doesn't even say it's my turn. It said it for Moon Planner. All right, it's what weird. are you doing there, okay. Sure. Well, I, don't I have to move? Yep, I'm asking where you're moving. Uh, you just have to move till you're adjacent to them was, in some way. It was this one, right? Uh, by Moon Planner, so... Uh, Probably right there, uh, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Can I go here? Oh. Oh, I had Ruler selected, I think. I don't know how to deselect it. Yeah, let's go. Share well, that's all my there, there. Okay, so. And she's just gonna stand. Yeah, I take it you're going there. Okay. Okay. Like Wait, not on the Amelia edge of the get ship. An action, then? Can you put a token down for Amelia? I didn't see Amelia roll her will save. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. You didn't tell me, DM. That's on you. Said all creatures. Uh, I guess she'll uh. She'll just hide for now, unless you want to count my other will saves. That you kept on deleting. <laughs> That's not how Roland works, Lunas. Oh, remember, I have to, I have to roll them. Shabaka. Right, don't hide for tonight. Or this. Yeah, what happened to the thing that shows the turn? Oh. Yeah, it's uh, glitched. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. On. It's showing it for me. Oh, it it's Shab showing your turn as mine, and then no turn. Is, is there a reason mine. why the airship is followed by a huge void of darkness? Uh, <laughs> that is true. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, okay. it is it is Shabaka's turn, and in the truest way of Shabaka, I'm just gonna roll for them because I'm assuming they're still resetting their computer. Uh, so I don't know how. Uh, what do they have? Here? <laughs> they they have this. Uh, that's a thing. Uh huh. Should just. Fantastic. So, uh, Shabaka is going to look at uh, this one over here, harming your dearest cleric friend. Move slightly up here and uh, give him a daze. Good old daze. Oh, I don't think that. Oh, there you go. Agonizing despair time? Oh, it should be more than that, actually. It should be. Roll. 3d6 plus, or that's better. Uh, now this thing needs to roll a will save first, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not yet. Just roll this in the chat and see what it does. That's hey, one. this would be a good time to use some towel when my turn comes around again. Yup. So it takes itself a grand 11 damage, bling, bling, and is also stunned one. Stun, stun, one. There we go. All right, and it is now this harpy up here's turn. The last harpy, as she flies over here. Whew. A tangent. Is it my turn? Nope. This harpy's targeting you. Oh, why is it ganging up on me? Uh, because you, you just put yourself at the, you put yeah. yourself at the front of the ship too. It's kind uh, of one of our most valuable things. A, Even if uh, you don't act like it. Tangent, <laughs> they're striking at you twice. First one hits and second one hits. Uh, though thankfully not critically, which means that for the first slash, you take 10 points of slashing damage, and the second one, 8 points. Alright, it brings us back up to Tangent. Your turn. I'm going to take an entire move action to move backwards. Alright, move yourself. 
Um, hold on. The the your turn thing was in the way. Oh yeah, there's no automatic uh, attack of opportunity, so. Now, um, can I still can I still use the um. Sun's roar or whatever it is. Uh, Sun's yeah, if you want to okay. use it now, there's probably be a better time to use it, given that everything is now within 30 feet of you. Yeah. All right. So let's put that up again and then roll the. Make an intimidate check to. Uh, okay, cool. And you do the thing, uh, asking for a basic fortitude save. I forgot to. Success. Failure. I forgot to Success. roll it like that. Success and success. Damn. Well, failure on that one. Uh, so, ones that failed were uh, taking full damage here, which would be uh, this one that is stunned. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of going down here. And the last one. No, who's giving the fun? So, well, what was your damage there? 3d6. I, I rolled it actually. It's, um, hold on. 12. Bonk. And all the other ones take Is half it... of that. Well, oh. it's not a it's not a great roll, but I mean, it's the only spell I had that would hit multiple targets, so I guess it's okay. 12, 12. So. It's also, it's also uh, plus no, she did she did uh, twelve and twelve on the ones that failed, and then six on the ones that didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm saying What's she your got the modifier tangent. Huh? Oh, what it's a your... plus two. Okay, then you do plus two damage to all of them as well, because it's oh, okay. Two d six plus your charisma modifier. That's I... right. I forgot about that. Yeah, it just makes it easier for me. Bonk. So that's fourteen, fourteen, eight, Bonk. eight. Bonk. Sorry, it's a new spell. Bonk. And bonk. All right. All right. Uh, I also need an intimidation check from you, Mrs. Roar. Okay. As tangent, uh, uncharacteristically from how you know her, let's loose a giant lion's roar. Or meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> meow. No, it got, oh, no, wow, a natural one. It got caught in the wind. It's definitely <laughs> meow. Uh, you got to get used to that one, tangent. It, oops, <laughs> my bad. Uh, it is completely still characteristic in that sense, then. <laughs> well, you still did 44 points of damage total. That's impressive. Yeah, that was a good AoE. So, does something like does something like uh, Bon Mott or activating Fascinating Performance, do those cost actions? They do. Yes. They do. Um, let's see. Let's see. What is this? Hence why they appear in your actions window. Yes, they do. Oh, we should okay. no longer be, uh... I forget the name. I wish it put the range of the... I wish it put the range of the spell in the actual description. Do it. You can edit the Oh, they do. Yet. It's in the, uh, tags. All right. I'll look it up. So, I for... I, I also don't know when exactly I'm supposed to gain... I think I'm supposed to gain panache whenever I succeed a athletics check or something. You're a witch, like, yes? Like, if... Uh, yes. If wit is your style, if you bon mot something successfully, you get panache, as well as if you but do I... something of exceptional caliber, something exceptionally daring. You're a swashbuckler, be creative. Excess exceptionally daring, alright. Um, so, Swift will, uh, look at, where's, the one, I can't ping it, but, the one to the left? Yeah, right there. Yep. He'll be, um, uh, watch closely! Um, and then he will, he'll have turned to, you know, say, and then he'll have leapt backwards off the ship, kind of like to tumble through oh, this nice. one. Okay. Um, taking his rapier out to then start attacking. Uh, well then give me that, so, tumble th give me that tumble through roll first, which is an acrobatics. Leaping right into failure. No, he's going to be a ten so I can remove fear, but I can't remove... Hey! Oh! And ha With an incredible acrobatics maneuver, you tumble through the square of this here creature going on the other side, wherein your panache is activated. Alright. 
So you also um, get to beat your DC of 28 for that, by the way. That is your DC for Panache. Okay, I don't quite know what that means. Uh, I still need to learn Panache, because this is my first combat encounter. Mm -hmm. However, I'm now in position with my rapier, and I'm going to attack this one in front of me. Go for it. Uh, so double right-click it first. Double right-click it. And that targets it. Okay, so I'm going to hope, I don't know, because I have modifiers, but I don't know if it's going to take all these modifiers. Okay, well, so... Just push the strike six... It, there's like a little button in your actions window. It says strike plus I'm six supposed... Seven. Yeah, and I'm supposed to get like an extra... I don't know. Yeah, you got that. I 2D the... something? Woo! Get Woo! some. So push the critical uh, damage button really quick. And there you are. I heard some fancy noise when I looked away. Uh, and good one. with a first singular swing, you deal 31 points of damage with your rapier. Swinging. Nice. Nearly chopping this harpy's wing in twain. However, it is still limply flying in your first strike. You still have another action left. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I still had another action? Yeah. Bond my mm. moving and striking. Or am oh, I... What's your bond, what's, what's your bond mod taunt? I wanna know. What do you mean? What's your taunt you're doing when you use bond mod? What do you mean, the, what do you mean what taunt? Like, what did I say? Yeah. I just pointed, like, looked at the, um, harpy that was right there. I said, watch closely, lass, and then I did a tumble oh, okay. through. Oh, so, wait, I have- wait, wait, were you bond modding this one while attacking this one? Is that what I'm, that what I'm hearing? Yes. Yes. Because gotcha, so... I'm get lowering this one's perception. Gotcha. Why? Um, why does that make a difference to my action yeah. total? Yeah, uh, yeah, because you only have three actions. I just didn't wasn't aware you were using the three actions. Oh, was bond modding. modding the one I was attacking less mm -hmm. actions? I you, assumed it was. You tumbled through. That's one action. You striked. That was another action. You did bond mod. Mm -hmm. That was your third. Yeah, I, I bond modded, yep. and then I yeah. So that's why I thought my account was correct. I just didn't. Okay, so yeah. Uh, which means that they need to get a will save. Uh, to your intimidating, uh, modding. And... Yay! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. The rolls be in me favor. Uh, so that was a critical failure on their part, which means a critical success, uh, on the descriptions here. The target is distracted and takes a negative three status penalty for perception will saves for one minute. Now look at that. I don't think distracted is a thing on here, so I'll just have to remember that. I will remember that. All right, that was your turn. It is now this harpy's turn of whomst you had sliced at the wing. They are none too happy with you, Mr. Pegasus. None too happy at all. So unhappy, in fact, that they tackle you in order to try to grab at you. Bring them on. All righty. So they are going to try to grab you, which I believe is an acrobatics check. Uh, uh, grabbing is athletics. Athletics uh, versus what? Versus their uh, fortitude plus 10. So their fortitude modifier plus 10 is the DC. Well, what is your fortitude modifier plus 10? Me? Yeah. Uh, fortitude plus 10. Fortitude modifier is... Uh... Wait, oh, fortitude... The fortitude save modifier. Uh, well, I have a plus 14. How do how do we see who's then turn the it is? The DC is 24, and they try to grab at you. Okay. Yeah. 20 plus this. They're not very good at it. Uh, Wait, are they going to haul him off the side of the airship? They were I have wings, it's all right. Uh, but they still have two actions left. Uh, whoops, uh, that would be a miss anyway. Uh, and then the third attack, which is at a minus eight. Bonk. There we go. Uh, miss, miss. This harpy is <laughs> thrown by you. Look at that. Uh, well, I think it's thrown by you. What's your AC? I was targeted to a round. 25. Both of those failed. Yeah. They still failed. One was really close, though. Yup. Uh, which means that the next harpy to go was the one that initially engaged Tangent. Uh... So does this mean we are no longer fascinated, Sharon and I? Uh, nope. Yeah. You guys can take off your... Sh you guys... That ended your last round. Woo! Yeah. Uh, the, uh, certain thing, I believe, is stunned. Stunned, I believe, lets you move. Uh, what is stunned? Pathfinder 2E. How long does your condition last for the, um, 
uh, for um, your roar there, tangent? Oh, uh, it doesn't say. Uh, I believe it should. Question mark. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna say it's a round. Um, yeah. <coughs> Uh, demoralize up to normal. Yeah, I mean it's just demoralizing, so it'd be around. It just uh, says demoralize. Wait, uh, how did you stun? How did this one get stunned again? I kind of forgot how this one got stunned again. Oh, days. That's what that one got stunned by. Uh, my bad. Don't worry about it. I forgot Shabaka. I did Shabaka's turn for them. Uh, how do I see whose turn it is on the tracker? Duration one round. Okay, cool. So this um, one. Um, the piss icon. And tangent. Up there. Getting a claw. Is it my turn? No. Uh, you're getting a claw, and he hits you once, uh, but only has one action. So here you go. There's no minus. Oh, there it is. You take ten points of damage as we go to his friend's turn. The one over here, the one right next to Cher. Cher, who is shaking out of her, uh, you know, fascinated stupor. This one is moving here and striking you at twice, Cher. Uh, so let's see here. Bonk, target share, just so I make sure it does the right thing. And, strike. Bonk, strike. Bonk. Pretty a sure miss. at least one of those. A miss and a hit. Share! Yeah. Uh, with a talon, you get hit for 13 points of damage. Oh, no! No! 13! No. Panshin, I need healing! Sandwich! Uh, but I unfortunately, Tangent is busy with her own problems as this one makes her way right around to flank our dearest Tangent. I actually have taken more damage than you. Put a dispenser <laughs> here. One <laughs> and two. I'm down to 40 HP. The first one hits. The second one critically misses as they swing wide. You take 12 points of damage from the first hit there, uh, Tangent. Moon Planner, you are no longer uh, in a way of fascination. Moon Planter is going to draw his weapon, one action. He is going to cast his one spell, Gravity Weapon. I press the cast button. That's not working. I'll just do that. All right, so uh, this is going to give him double the number of hit dice, which is currently just one. So he's going to be hitting for 2d10 plus uh, strength. Okay. So for his third action, he will strike uh, this one that is injured directly in front of him and swift sail. So, strikes. Hits. Hits. And he takes 13 points of non lethal damage. He takes 13 points. And that is Moonplanter's turn. You only have one attack? Oh, just two. Uh, yeah, okay, two and uh, yeah, we I cast the spell. Now it is... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It is now your turn, oh. Cher. Okay. I didn't know if he was going on. Um, okay. Uh, Cher is going to not be a one-trick pony. She's got a new spell. Oh. Let's oh, see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, okay, so Sherry is going to use Ice Storm. Ooh. Which, everybody uh, because we're outside, uh, we can actually do two Ice Storms because we are outside. Ooh. And it rolls for 2 d, uh, 2d8 bludgeoning damage as well as 2d8 cold damage. I'm just going to roll this here um, so I can read it. Oh, I'm setting the thing. Create a spell Cast a spell, burst of magical hand, do you? Oh shit. Oh shit, Snowshoe. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, if you cast a spell outdoors, you create two non overlapping clouds instead of one. Oh damn, look at you go. Alright. Uh, so these are how big? Five. Uh, five feet. Alright. Where are you casting the not? Yeah, where's your cloud at? Where's your cloud just gonna be at? I'll put one right here because it seems like on top of this guy. Uh, no, I'll put one right here. On um, shit. How do I? 
I forget how to do the targeting. Uh, there's a yeah, measurement controls. Mm -hmm. It's a double right click to uh, target them if you're doing a weapon, but if you're doing this, you want to use the area of effect. That is the area that that cloud will strike if you do it there, which includes you. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm hitting him right there. That's a uh, ten, that's a ten foot circle, not a five. Five foot is here. What? So it's five. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's gonna hit Swift. Hang on. How do I? Oh, no, I'm putting somebody on the screen. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a zero foot. Okay. That should be five. So that's five. Uh, not this one. I I think you put this one down, so I can actually delete that one, Emily. This one. There you go. Yeah. And then I will hit. Uh. I don't know. Will this one do it? You might as well, because the one that and I are dealing with is almost dead. It's going to be dead, so. Yeah, but this is going to hit me. You can put it, like, it's an area oh, yeah, of effect. I, I can move it, so. Put it here. Uh, put it right here. Yeah, like there. I put it right there, and yeah. uh, it goes, so there we go. Putting it right here? Yep. All righty, and as you put it right there in there, I think I need to give a save from them, a reflex save, that is. All right, so it's top one and that mm -hmm. one. I'm just deleting these so I can get to their token. Bonk. Uh, this one. Bonk. Ah. Oh. That one makes it, and this one makes it, which means... Wow, they all have, like, super high... Ah, uh, but still means they take half damage, so give me that damage roll. Uh, sure, I should just be able to press damage, right? I. It does not. Oh, place a five foot error. No, no it's the da damage button. Uh, no, like when I. If the damage button don't work, then just give me that four uh, D eight. I think it is total. Oops. Yeah, four D eight total. Slash row four D eight. Oh, perfect Six. face. Well. 8-8, eight, eight, I guess, rather. Alright, so I'm just gonna roll this just so I can minus them directly. Like this. Bonk. And bonk as they start evading your hail. Uh, any creature that ends its turn in the storm takes 4 points of cold damage, so keep that in mind. I'm going to Can you the... keep them on the field? Yep, I will. 5 foot, and you had a 5 foot right here. Yep. Wait, why is that five foot so much bigger than that five foot? Because you put it on the intersection of a square, and not in the square itself. Oh, okay. Shabaka's right. turn. GM, is I'm he actually here. Yes, yeah, so I am oh, here, that? That? and I'm going to be using. I uh, hang on, just real quick, uh, Shabaka. I misread my spell. On your first weapon strike, which I did on my turn, you gain a status bonus to damage equal to twice the number of weapon damage dice. I actually have 2d10 that I'm rolling normally because I got a striking room. So the one that I struck here should take an additional four non-lethal damage. All right, remember that for next time. I won't be lenient right. next time. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Shabaka, it is your turn. I'm playing my theme song. All right. Here, how uh, much damage have I you like taken? To use... Hang on, hang on, BCS. All right. Um, yeah, I'll use a Phantasmal Killer. On? Yes. Yeah, it should be pretty awesome. On, the um, the one right by me. This one. Wait. Yeah, yes. Oh, right uh, there. Alrighty, go ahead and roll that in the chat so I can just, uh, have all of my fancy buttons and shit. Makes it easier. Look at this. We create a Phantasmal image of the most fearsome creature imaginable to the target. Uh, only they can see this killer as you uh, start waving around your paws like you do. Uh, your eyes doing that weird glowy thing and everything. It, it's pretty great. And pretty uh, awesome. they fail but did not critically fail, which means they take 8d6 mental damage and are frightened too. Alright. Throw my damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of dice. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage, too. You deal 28 points of damage to this poor, frightened harpy, who is also stunned. Uh, well, it's your turn now, so they're not stunned anymore. 
Bonk. Mm. Wow. They are still frightened. <laughs> Uh, and they Good definitely enough. did not, uh, seem like they, uh, this harpy, mind you, just as part of the fluff of the spell, looks positively terrified at something that, like, seems to be over your head. Uh, they seem to be looking at something terrifying and flinching and dodging and, like, looking like they're being, like, mauled to death by this thing. But nobody else, you guys can't see what this thing is seeing. Hmm. Somebody's on that, uh... Bad, bad. <laughs> Phantasmal <laughs> killer. <laughs> Yay. Uh, this thing does not want to be caught in the rainstorm, so it's just going to go whoop, uh, tap you on the shoulder there, Mr. Shabaka, and slice, slice with their talons. Look at that. Uh, so it looks like 30 and 17. I think a 30 hits, right. uh, hits you, Shabaka. It does. So Shabaka, mm -hmm. you get to take... 15 points of slashing damage from this year harpy oh uh let me just double check something because he does get the plus two Ooh, it's not just that hang on uh it is let's see uh that would be roll seven times two plus four because he does get a plus two from flanking with the other harpy which makes that a critical so you actually take 26 points of damage oh shit Ouch. Yup. Yep. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Adventure music battle. Let's see. Oh, we haven't been having battle music yet? We have. Oh. Yeah, we have. You might okay. have your playlist mm -hmm. turned down. Tangent, it is your turn. Alright, give me just a minute to decide what I want to do, please. I'm thinking about using a sphere for the critical specialization, but I'm pretty sure that my spell would do more damage because the spear only does 1d6. Alright, I'm gonna, like, touch the one right in front of me, and I'm going to cast Searing Light. Oof. Roll that in the chat for me. Yeah, I'm pulling up. Where's the dice for the Searing Light? I don't see it. Uh. I still don't know how to, like, that's kind of weird. It doesn't have like, a little chat thing. I see what you mean. It doesn't. It doesn't have a little. Oh, here. I'll just put it on the macro, and then if I click the macro, it'll work. Oh, there you go. You shoot brazenly. Oh, only. You don't even need to touch him. You just need to make that range spell attack. Which means that tangent. You uh, you see that uh, um, that spell attack. The plus thirteen. You need to get. You need to roll one d twenty plus thirteen to try to hit him. Plus thirteen. Uh, is that your final answer? Yes, because I rolled it. Uh, remember, I said I usually. I, I'm gonna be nice here. Remember, I oh. usually, usually oh, say that. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean I should use my hero point? I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. I'm not gonna give you the results of your roll unless I'm just asking you. Oh was... shit! My hero point only rolled a one though. That means you get a re-roll. Okay. They would have high IC, wouldn't they? Hey! Hey! You know what that means, right, BCS? Critical? Uh, it does. And because it's a spell that uh, rolls a spell thing, your damage dice double, which means that the ray, which normally deals 5d6 fire damage, uh, and let's see, if this thing is a fiend or undead, which this I don't This bird think is toast. I don't think it is. <laughs> Oh man, uh, yeah, you get to roll uh, 10d6 fire damage uh, with your holy light. That was a lot of dice. Uh, Tangent, how do you want to do this to this poor, poor harpy? This harpy is going to have its wings burn up from the ends all the way like to the to the ends until there's nothing left but little nubs. You Damn, channel, Tangent you... sounded like a school shooter over here. <laughs> running in their diary. You <laughs> channel the anger of every single time Amden made fun of one of your drawings and completely disintegrate this here harpy. Very dead. Yay, it's the first one to die. Yay! Mm -hmm. After this, Huzzah. we're going to be healing. You can yeah. always heal out of battle, though. Which means... And to help... We to help assure there. that all you're doing is healing, um, to the harpy that is behind her, mm. Swift will, uh, 
Von Mott. Last, the real show is over here. Cast a gander, and then he will uh, do fascinate, uh, fascinating performance to uh, attempt to draw its attention and fascinate it. All right, one thing at a time here. Bon Mott first. Uh, you need to. Oh, I have to roll that right. Keep thinking it's just a, almost like a passive. Bon Mott oh. it is against your uh, will DC. Bon Mott is fun. Uh, Someone. Uh, might want to help me set up these macros so, sometime. Uh, you need to roll a diplomacy check against their will DCU. Uh, Twenty-two. Diplomacy. Go. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one to use for battle. Uh, you'd be surprised, man. Bomb mod's pretty great. Uh, however, let's see here. Their DC was this. Uh, you do manage to bond mod them. Not critical. All right. You, which means that. Uh, they get a negative two to their uh, perception and will saves. And I shall now proceed to, on the same target, uh, do fascinating performance with the assistance of focused fascination. Mm. Which What's means focused I'm... fascination? Um, focused fasc fascinating performance um, is basically where if I get a success on a like roll, then I fascinate the target. However, if they're in a situation that remi like requires attention, like combat, I would need a critical su success. But with focused fascination, I j that means I only need a regular success. Oh, Basically, okay. just a regular success to fascinate. No, and I right. so I need a uh, performance check, which I think uh... I'm an acrobatic performer, so it's the mm -hmm. acrobatics check. You can, yep, give me that acrobatics check, and that is against their will. Ha ha! You're Yay. a crit. And uh, as, uh, as you do such things, uh, you start being acrobatic. It's going to be what you're doing, fluff-wise. How are you um, performing? He's, like, very confident in his ability with um, the harpy in front of him. He's, like, kind of putting on a, like back and forth with the harpy kind of like lifting up and down with his wings uh without doing anything that would really require an extra action he's just kind of like weaving up down left and right and kind of getting different angles uh before using a finisher hmm what's your finisher uh i have a finisher i don't see it on my actions tab oh finisher is that finish I don't know how exactly. Do I just roll a regular? I don't know what you're doing. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I have a confident finisher. Confident. So, you gain an elegance. Uh, you make an Ashley. incredibly graceful attack, piercing your foe's defense. Make a strike with a weapon or an armor attack that would apply to your uh, uh, that would apply your uh, precision strike damage following failure effect. If you fail, you deal half your per strike, uh, precise strike damage, and the damage type is that weapon. Uh, so, uh, um, But I don't know exactly what I'm rolling. Uh, is it just a regular? It is an incredibly graceful attack, yes. Make a strike with your weapon. Right. Uh, make a strike with your weapon. Ooh, close to another crit. And you, uh, crit also, you already do critically hit. Reminder that criticals in PF2 is 10 over your, uh... Oh! Nice! Okay, so critical damage. Let's go. How do you want to do That's... this? Um... With, the uh, Rapier, a very trained, skilled, and obviously, um, practiced motions. He's gonna create almost like a star with his, um... The, I guess, do, is he using a... Hoof or what is he? Hold, uh, what I don't know. His like, how does he holding his rapier? You tell does me. he get to use a hoof? Oh, I, I assume that I assume that rapiers with the handles would have like for pet ponies would have enough where you can like put your hoof on it and it's like secured enough so that it can be on their hoof, especially for something like a rapier for like fencing. If this is how uh, you have it, then go for it. And so it with that. Magic. And be. with that, he will make trained, uh, quick, almost um, invisible strikes that will leave the harpy 
cut up into many, many pieces to fall off the side of the ship. Hey, look at that. And he's and... standing there with a big grin and a bit of blood on him. Uh, a little bit of blood on him, and uh, I'm sure that the people below in that city that you guys are flying <laughs> over are gonna very much appreciate the fact that there's harpy pieces falling from the sky. You guys are sadistic with your finishers, <laughs> burning their wings from the tips of the base, slicing them into small pieces. Like I mean, I got big rolls. I just had to do it big time. Jeez. Uh, it is this one's turn, who is ultimately fascinated by the act. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think fascinated stops them from taking actions. It just gives them negative two status penalties to things. I thought it does in the same way that like Cher and Moonplanter were fascinated. Uh, yeah, and... doesn't it have to come towards us though? You're compelled if to he focus was your attention to on something, them. distracting you from whatever else is going on around you. You take a negative two status penalty to perception and skill checks, and you cannot use actions with the concentrate trait unless they are. Uh, they or their intended consequence are related to the subject of fascination. Up to the GM. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yep. So I mean, he's just she's less like kind of like looking at Swift <laughs> while like still kind of doing like the clawy thing toward tangent. Okay. Uh, well, he's distracting her. Yeah, yeah. And doing his best. Look at this. Uh, one, two, three to you, tangent. Uh, it looks like the first one hit. Uh, the other ones did not, however. Good enough. Tangent, you take 13 points of slashing damage. I'll take it. All right. Let's, Let's see what my hit point value is. Moon what the hell? Point. I'm down to 16? We're not going to let you die, Tangent. Yeah, All right. heal yourself next time you get a chance. We'll take out the ones near you, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got your back. Moonplanter, uh, seeing this one get struck down in such spectacular fashion, he feels like he's getting one up. So he's going to. Whoop, wrong button. That did not count. He is going to jump off of Cher's back, land uh... right here, and then he's going to do a flurry of attack against uh, these two. He's going to first strike this one directly behind Tangent, and then a second attack will be on this one. Go for it. Cher, Cher's like three feet and. You're That's... you're gonna like crush her, <laughs> but you are literally like, so much bigger than Cher. Cher is four Jump feet. Jump on the cannon instead. Woo! Crit Woo! success. That one is going to eat. Uh, let's see. This is also the first attack because my spell lasts for a minute, so he's going to take. Ooh, good question. Um, the weapon damage dice does that also increase the spell damage if I roll a crit? Because I'm rolling four d10s instead of you two. You push the crit damage on the thing, and it should roll everything as you should. Yeah. All right. So that one's going to take 42 points of non-lethal damage, uh, plus an additional four points of damage from the spell, and it only applies to the first attack. So this one over here, that uh, sword is going to uh, swirl around, and he's going to come down with the second attack. My sword has the. Uh, the sweep ability, so I get a plus one circumstance bonus to my follow-up attack roll. So this will be at a plus 12. So 24 to hit that one. 24 hits. Alright, and that one takes 13 points of non-lethal damage. 13 points of non-lethal, bunk. Let's see, I have three different heals I could use. Alrighty, bet your turn. That is Moonplanter's turn. Share. You just got jumped off of. How do you feel? You you definitely would not have been able to do that, so you probably should have used the cannon. I'm a fancy bad pony. You would have just failed would... instantly as Share crumbles to the ground under the weight of someone like two to three times her body. Mean weight. Lane, do the well, harpies have what? what? Do the harpies have pony upper halves? Pony upper halves? Yeah. Uh, well, if you really want to know how the harpies look like, imagine Captain Celiano. Oof. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, from the MLP movie, because that's what they are. They're harpies. Oh, it's not her name? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Also, she's a parrot. Yeah, she was a parrot. Uh, I guess her original concept art, they had her as a, uh, a harpy. Hence oh, the they name. did? Oh, I know. Hence the name Celiano. Oh, Not wait, maybe, you know, I, I get extra damage against the second one as well. Uh, the forceful trait with the sword 
Uh, if you attack more than once per turn, the second attack gains a circumstance bonus equal to the number of weapon damage dice. So the second one that I attacked takes an additional two points of non-lethal weapon damage. All right, uh, Moon Planner, but like, remember last time when I said, make sure you tell me these things nope. ahead of time. Right, right. Uh, no attacks have been made. I'm, I'm still catching it. All right. Thank you. Yo. Yep. I found the concept art. Okay, can I go? Yep. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, a magic missile spam to two two D six because I can't do three D nine because moon uh, because uh, Vinport sucks. Um, and I'm gonna target three and three on the uh, badly injured and the injured behind me. Gotcha. Three and three. Let's see them. Two individual rolls. Yep. So that should be, uh... Wait, I forgot Where... already. Where's our magic yeah. missiles? Well, calm your fucking tits. You can wait. She's not um, a woman. So it's, uh, it's 2d4, thinking. or... Yeah, it's 2d4 plus two? Uh, per? each magic missile does 1d4 plus one. Alright, so it should be 3d4. Our Wi-Fi thing is named uh, 1D4 plus 1 here. Uh, okay. 3D uh, 4 plus 1. Nope. Plus, I'm tired. Wait, what is it? <laughs> I roll it all the time. I don't know why I'm forgetting. Do I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to hold back calling you a dum-dum for basic math here, but it's 3D4 plus 3, Cher. 3D4 plus 3, yeah. <laughs> Well, you said something like different, and so I was listening to you. So it's technically <laughs> your pawn this off okay. on me. <laughs> All right, there's the two rolls. So I'm um, just gonna go top to bottom here. So first one mm -hmm. takes twelve points of damage. Taking that twelve points, it stumbles. The second one takes seven points of damage, and doesn't stumble as much. All right. Uh, does it also take what? the four since it's staying in my area of effect? Did she hit this one and it this did one? Not, or... It did not end its turn in that Or thing. this it, one this and one this one? This one is just the one that's at the end of initiative, so it hasn't gone yet. Uh, which makes that the end of Cher's turn, correct? Uh, yes, because that should be all three actions. Shabaka, it's your turn. And yet, Tangent, the one to her left and behind her. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> she want to go with... Um, phantasmal kill killer again. Yeah, worst one. So this uh, one and this one. Okay. Uh, the yeah. So uh, do the one behind, um, tangent. You get a phantasmal killer. The one behind tangent. Yeah. It's near death. So. Alrighty. You phantasmal killer. The one behind tangent. As it rolls its will save with all the wonderful minuses from your friend over here. A 16 won't cut it, uh, which means that is a critical failure. Actually, uh, hang on, let me double check, make sure. Uh, 12 I wish. The two off of that it is not a critical failure. However, it is damn close. Um, mm -hmm. It is damn, damn close. And uh, it. it still is a normal failure. It takes 8d6 points of mental damage and becomes frightened too. Give me that roll. Meme are these like... And how do you um, want to do this? Hmm? Describe your terrifying it. spell and how it kills this thing because it's dead. It's already near dead. Alright. I go on my back paws and I... And I freaking wiggle my... Uh, my paws in the air. And while I'm glowing, it's like a big figure. A big monstrous pony with the big ass war come down and coming down with a big strike for his head uh -huh. yes he used the word bake more times in your description yes yes and, i'm gonna use big so many times and whatever <laughs> is terrifying the hell out of this harpy sure is probably big by the look they're giving this invisible thing that nobody else can see and it just straight up dies of a heart attack it's so huge there he goes oh. there he goes there he goes. Look, I can save and my he heels. Falls and tumbles. 
All right. I it don't is, know. It is the, this one up here, turn. Bonk. Oh, okay. I think it's that Thought one. Thought it was right. gonna be one of our turn. Uh, nope. That'd be the one. Or, uh, uh, are these harpies sure. like intelligent? Like, are they just like can they talk, or are they just? Screeching creatures. Oh, I think I know what happened with this one. Uh, the uh, yeah, I, I removed them from the map and then I undid it, but it took them off the initiative. So I'll just put them at the bottom of the initiative again. Wah wah. That sounds like a nature roll. Uh, because I was wondering where that one was an initiative. Uh, however, this one up here, uh, is uh, seeing all of his friends die. So he's gonna fly away. Wee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And it's this one's turn. He's also seeing all of his friends die. Whee! Come back soon, love. And <laughs> with the final uh, remark, uh, combat ends. So da -da -da -da. can we eat? Do we get? Do we get to eat chicken wings tonight? <laughs> My God! Pretty sure this is like cannibalism. They're a little bit too close to like. I, I yeah. Were they able to talk, or were they just screeching? Uh, they were screeching and singing at you at one point. Yeah, if they can sing, then they're probably more on the intelligent side. So, I mean, if you want to eat it after you burn its wings off, go for it. I wanted hey, to have one over for me. They're still considered monsters, so I don't think there's any issue. Uh... Remember, remember when we were discussing eating goblin? Anyone remember that? Kinda. That was a thing. That was you a thing. You want to eat goblin? GM, that I'm was gonna, like uh, session uh, two. GM, I'm going to roll I some remember. On this one. Is there yeah, anything salvageable that could be considered food? Is that what, what? I am rolling survival against this one. Is there anything salvageable on it that can be considered food? There is, but probably not morally. <laughs> we'll be judged. It's up to you. I mean, it's either this or pickled eggs for dinner. What are you hungry for? <laughs> I just want to know if I can have lines, chicken so. fingers. I'll remind that they actually have food on this ship that they stocked up for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. God yeah, bless. but dinner came flying in. You know what? In. Get it? Get it for grot. I'm like, <laughs> I just actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll That's feed it to grot. Swift still, is is there any one of that uh, that one that you minced up earlier? That's perfect bite size for her. Uh, no, it all fell off the ship. Oh, that's a shame. And that like one it fell off the side of the ship. And I can cut up another one. Hold on, hold on. And I the... One that's I don't really... crisp and one that is uh, still nice and raw. Yeah, this is perfect for grunt. <laughs> all right. Do y'all enjoy regular food? Or y'all just like eating <laughs> shit? Come to try to kill I mean, you? I weirdos. Food isn't doing anything else. These people. I'm not participating. I'm not cutting anything else. Okay, up. so DM, I'm going to cast out of battle. I'm going to cast vital beacon and touch myself and heal myself. And I'm oh. going to say, share, come <laughs> over here and touch my shoulder and be healed. <laughs> well, touching touch yourself share. and she wants share to touch her too. Yep. All right, everybody, touch the cleric. For heels. Oh, uh, first time for sure. Here, I'll post. I'll post the the yeah, spell. Yeah, Let me yeah, do, do post the spell. Gather round. <laughs> oh no! <Okay>. Everybody's around. <laughs> Gather around. Give heal. <laughs> Hang on, I just gotta. So this will this, this will heal four times, and then I'll have to use standard healing if there's anything anyone that didn't get healed up. Okay, are you healing? So let, yeah, let me roll. The 4d10 for the first one. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my heels, I think. Here, I, I stole that one. Okay, so this one is for the next person. That'd be Cher, I believe. How does oh, wait, Cher get damage I... for six? Oh, well, how I didn't did you mean to damage twice? <laughs> how did you do that? Hang on. <laughs> Shares us over here cutting herself while she's touching <laughs> tangents. Be like, heal me, heal me, I'm <laughs> cutting myself. Look, heal me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, hmm. I think it was for you. Okay, that was for me. Okay, how do I? There we go. I'm at max. You're at max. Okay, next person. 
Moon Planter is 100%. He's good. Okay. Uh, I guess that'd be me. Did you right. even get damaged? Yeah. I didn't Ooh. think any damage. You can, hover you can hover over them, remember. It tells you if they're injured. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. There you go. <clears throat> and next person, then the spell wears out. Aye. Okay. And I'll have to use my regular heals, so give me just a minute to pull them. Much obliged, lass. I mean, we're, fine how many regular touch. heals do you have? I've got three heals, and they're all in different slots. So. I assume right. we'll regain some over the trip, because we still have many days left. Well, yeah, oh, we yeah, gain a yeah. certain amount. I forget how much it and is let's, each Let's let's go ahead and heal right now, because I can always recover my spells tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I think it was. Like, I mean, you I feel you like you never know if we're gonna get into combat again. I feel like yeah. I think it was like six times your. I don't know. No, it's your. It's something your modifier. Cause six times. Yeah, anything six is times constitution. Too much. Is it six times constitution? Because I don't. I, just I don't wanna, think so. I'm just gonna post I mean, this. Okay, is there anyone else that needs you? I got one ready. Uh, yeah, I'll one take that. I'll take that me. last. To post this in TCR, Wait, was the 4D8 a hill too? Oh, it's, yeah, I was. Oh, Tedra, yeah. You, already, you already took that one, yeah. Yeah, I already took it, sorry. I took the 12. I have one. That's right. I have a 1D8 too. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the one that needs the most heals gets the least. I can't. Man, I, I think this is, is the uh, the most healing you've done at like. What do you mean? The, uh, how much health the, uh... are you missing? You guys yelled at me for not preparing heal spells, so I prepared heal spells besides my healing font. Oh, yeah, this awesome. is like thank the most like for, healing we've done. Uh, I thank you for doing your job. Beats out, yeah, I think <laughs> it beats out the uh, when everyone kept on dying. So. <laughs> Shut the fuck All up. Right. I'm going to use my Say thank you, all heal. Stupid. <laughs> I got to look up how the design healing Hey, yeah. roll Let's that see. heals. You gain additional spell yeah. slots each day. This for myself. Damn, Shabaka, how injured are you? You're uninjured. In the number of slots, yeah, it's equal I, to one plus damn, two. I was like injured, okay. but and that, right. that one hill took me all the way back. He just had yeah. a boo boo. Okay. Leave the all man right, alone. Have... Well, you were saying he was the most injured. I look over. I was the most injured. injured. Like... Yeah, got healed myself. That's why. I, okay. I have. Mm. It's actually this should be a four d eight. Sorry about that. All right. Who, who um, are you at full health, Chewbacca? Yeah, I'm at full health. Is everyone can you, healed? Can you oh. take that for yourself, Tangent? I think yeah, I can. Is. Go yeah. ahead and do that. I'm only Let missing one hit. It. I'm only missing one hit point. So oh, I'm remi uh, reminder, Tangent. I have that 70. It, tangent, just a reminder. If you do burst, uh -huh. it also heals you in that. Like you also oh, okay. consider part of your burst. I, so I, I mean, I think we're fine. No. I, I would, I would hope the person the positive energy is emanating from heals them too. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about communal healing, so I'm already healed up. But that's alright. I'm gonna like just end this day and prepare my spells again. GM, does this harpy have a tannable hide? Can I skin this one and hang it out to dry over the edge of the ship? If you want to try to take it away from Grot, you can. Are the feathers pretty? That's, you know the skin's good. the best part. You guys told me you gave these things to Grot. We haven't dragged them down to her yet. Uh, we'll drag the charred one for sure. I don't think there's anything salvageable. Are to... are the feathers pretty? You burned them off. You there. burned them off. Yeah. What about what about Wait, the other one? Them? This one down what here. about the other one over here? Yeah, what about this one? That I one like is check. no, that one is not on the ship. That one fell off and clunked against that the side of the ship. That one's hanging on the talons. Oh, okay. What? Uh, what? It's no, I completely gone? I completely cut it up and it <laughs> fell oh, off right. the ship. So, GM, I yeah, really... you guys, you guys. By the way, like you guys are literally flying over a town right now and just cut up this. <laughs> yeah, my Nobody's tank. interested in the town. Hold on, hold on. Um, uh, Boom Planet, what's up? I Planet? rolled tanning lore. Was I able to extract the skin from this harpy? Uh, well, tanning lore would get you that, like, uh, if it is, you know, tannable, and I mean, it's a hide. You could usually tan most hides, so the answer is yes. If you want to actually do the act, you got to roll survival. I would like to roll Merchantile Lore to see how valuable the feathers are. I'd like are. to roll Go to for it. Moon Planner, you do survivor. a decent job. Hang on one second, BCS. Uh, you do a decent job of separating hide from whatever hide is attached to. Uh, 
Sabaka, please, Ugander, please. that harpy hide probably isn't very valuable at all. Ugh. Do whoever y'all want with the y'all can rape the y'all can do necrophilia on What the here. fuck? Why would you immediately <laughs> jump to that? Because y'all the kind of group, y'all the seem like kind of group that do that kind of shit. Y'all been Cher, talking like you eating just, it and. Cher, can yeah, you remove you the spell circles? Cher's disgusted it, by all of you. You're all. I weird. didn't. I didn't say anything about eating anything. Can can weird. Cher? Can you remove mm. the spell circles on the map? No. You're objecting. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do it. All right, back to the wonderful, wonderful world of Astion on this 36th of Lashy. Oh, here we go. Uh, Did we stop in the town while we were over <laughs> No, we're... No. We're pushing forward. No, we're already pushing Let us go. It. Yeah, this is like the end of, yeah. like, you guys pretty much started the day, and then around this part is where the harpy showed up, and then the rest of the day went fine, and now you guys are here. I'm and really now... glad this ship with 36 cannons, like, has no one to man those cannons. <laughs> you know, I'm just pointing that out. Like, <laughs> all point out... these cannonballs. It's perfectly uh, reasonable. Now, now uh, <laughs> share, 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 share. Uh, that's not to say that there isn't crew. I actually do want to give you the visuals for that. There are crew members on the ship. The thing is, is that they're all, like, level one sailors. <laughs> They're all uh, pussies. So, like, what they're doing is making sure the ship stays flying and goes forward. Uh, the cannons themselves just weren't loaded. Um, but, I mean, that is their job while you guys are actually fighting things. Insides, it's much more fun this way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, uh, but... All right. Exclaimed Flutzale, who I need seems a, to be enjoying the action. I need a D100. So a D100 from all... Oh, I wanted to do it. You can get the next one. Oops, uh, hang on, I need to move that properly. One, two, three, four, five, right here. As you guys start sailing over, what's that? A camp Brown. below? Could it be? It is. It's Ripping right. Point. I'm going to roll Terran. society. What is Ripping Point? Go for it. Give me that society roll. Let Rippin me change my spells out real quick. Ripping Point is one of the uh, main, uh, I guess... Uh, one of the main trader camps, uh, kind of uh, between the uh, the west and the east. It's usually where uh, most people will go to trade for manufactured goods from Weldstone, which actually does a lot of the actual hammering of minerals, given that they are uh, uh, a well-known mining town. Okay, Weldstone, uh, you said hammers the minerals? Uh, Weldstone is well known for making manufactured goods, given that they are so close to a mine. Okay. And yes, I will copy-paste that into campaign notes. Thank ya. Alright, as for your D100, it looks like your day was clear today. What a, what a, what a thing. Let's see here. Woo! Yep. And we go... The last leg of our journey. One, two, three, four, five, and we're in Weldstone. I need a D100. Go ahead, Tangent. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was looking at my spells. And, uh, blind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yar. Alrighty. Uh, you are keeping a firm eye out, making sure that nothing approaches the ship, and on this wonderful finals day, uh, it seems that the temperature is a little bit cooler than normal. 58 degrees Fahrenheit, scattered clouds, most clear today. Uh, and you take notice of that a little bit more as the uh, front of the ship starts to tilt down. The captain seems to be taking it down. Uh, taking it down toward the actual landing in Weldstone, which, as you guys approach, will notice that it is nowhere near as fancy as the one in Dakalai. No, this one, if I bring you to the map over here, looks like this. After uh, as soon as it loads, it looks like a gray screen. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second, I'm All getting the there. Okay, that, that loaded oh, fast. Imagine it looks like, the, like a loading bar. I like the new plug in that shows the date. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I like this big, gigantic white screen. It's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's very I'm funny. in the app. I don't know about y'all. You, you, you might have to have five. You might, you might have to have five. No, it just takes a long time. Oh, wait, no, it loaded into a white screen. Yeah, yeah, you guys might have to have five. Uh, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 
because uh, I changed some options in the middle of you guys loading. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's your white screen, actually. <laughs> it's right. a broken game. I don't know. I got in. Freaking memely always breaking foundry. I didn't get a chance to use vomit swarm while the harpies were attacking. That sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> it is, but it's such an amazing spell. I love it. You guys set down into the place where you are landing. Uh, gracefully, actually. It's a very nice landing from your pilot, who gives a uh, nice nod as the rest of the crew uh, starts getting down the gangplanks uh, to start allowing you to dismember uh, from the ship, or disembark from the ship, setting them yeah, down. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, the, uh, the captain comes up towards you guys and gives you a salute in which he says very firmly, For timeless glory. Moon Planter returns the salute for timeless glory. Thank you for the I like the your team. little map that you whipped up. Way. Thank you. I worked like all day on this map. Uh, I repeat. With this rapier to the air for honor and glory. Uh, and he looks at you and raises an eyebrow. Oh, this, is very, this is like a one horse town, basically. Yeah, you guys like came from like an actual city to a small town. This is, this is how small towns look. Moon Planter right. saying. Oh, I was telling the captain that he's with the Banner Mayor, so their culture's a bit different. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... to see if I can find a tavern. I'm going to have to figure out that uh, affiliation at some point that properly ironed down. Because obviously, probably... he's not a mayor, but... Right, which is why I commented when we first met you that it was strange that they opened up their recruitment yeah. to females. I'll get that figured out later on. Right. Maybe they identify as female. That's not it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they do have a beautiful or, blue coat. Or maybe the fraternity decided to become more uh, progressive and open up their doors to all who qualify. Maybe. Hmm. I'll, uh, have to get with the, I'll have to get with the DM on that. Is the 410 uh, DM, a year? DM, uh, oh, I need to set the year correctly. DM says, uh, Swift, uh, says trans rights. Uh, so I think that's, that's, uh... Yeah. No, that's <laughs> not... Wait, you don't say trans okay, rights? Okay, so what? I'm going to go... <laughs> no! I'm going to go find the local tavern where any adventurers congregate, Thanks. where they will surely have some rumors uh, about right. Fingerstone. And you're you're already... You crazy. just land, and you're already hitting okay. shit face. Yep. What, okay. You, like, okay. You oh, oh, oh yeah, I was gonna, does. I was gonna say, sure. Like, <laughs> can't give her crap for that. Uh, Swift would <laughs> volunteer to accompany her. Oh, uh, what was that? Swift will volunteer to accompany Tangent if she's gonna go try to get some information, and he can chat about. So we're so just we're gonna go along the the tavern, it's... and then we'll try the guards. And it's then we'll a just... small town. We'll see each other. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So anyway. we're going to go to the quenched iron. All right, God, and you guys so. begin your travel toward. Uh, well, you don't know it is the quenched iron at first, though. The name makes itself apparent if you can read. <laughs> uh, if you can actually, what languages do you guys speak? This is a good question. Uh, well, Sphinx is a common language out here. Common, so. druidic, and goblin. Okay. Aquid, common, draconic, Sphinx, and Sylvan. Sphinx, Sylvan. Am I muted? No. 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 Come here. no. Okay. We're just doing a lot of talking. Uh, well, the lot of you can't actually read this sign. Common and oh, Sylvan. I don't know what Sylvan is. That's like pony. Com that's like pony speak. It's okay. the... pretty much read all of it. Nay, you know. I uh, okay. what, about, what about Sphinx or Null? Nope. Oh wait, actually. I like to uh, identify what. If you do, if you do know Null, it you do read the sign that says the quenched iron. Okay. It's a null? It's a null. It's a null. I mean, it I makes you not read that. Uh, so this are... is a diamond dog town? Hang on. Uh, oh, I brought Emilio. Pool guy, pool guy, you're like fading in and out a little bit. Uh, He's muted. I muted myself because I'm getting talked over a lot. If I'm getting I'm fading in and out, I don't know how to control that. Uh, well, what, uh, what were you going to say? I was telling the party that if they're in Null, it makes sense because Nulls are subterranean creatures and they would make good miners. Mm. 
Absolutely. Okay. Well, All right. So you guys are headed into the quenched iron? Yes. All right. Hey, into well. the quenched iron you go, wherein they have those fancy double-deckered sort of doors that you'd find uh, in most westerns. You guys open it, and all the music dies. Uh, music is still gone. Uh, well, yeah. All the music dies. Slowly, all the <laughs> eyes kind of look toward the th uh, five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five newcomers into uh, the place. Amelia is there, too. Uh, and dog. Uh into the uh some pony in, farm uh okay jerk. six uh but you, you you didn't tell me that ahead of time anyways six people she and, shush you uh who enter the door uh and uh most of them or at least uh the ones in here seem to be nalls there's a couple uh there's a couple persians no sphinxes to be seen they all just kind of like look at you Moonplancher yeah. looks left and right and sees everybody looking at them, and he's going to speak in Knoll and say, "Where the white Knolls at?" <laughs> hey, uh, Moonplancher. That's interesting. Give me a diplomacy check. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he's good at this. All right, here we go. All right, uh, and let's take a look at this here. Uh, as uh, as uh, you say, where all the white uh, nulls at, uh, white nulls uh, laugh, all of them begin their laughing. Uh, lots of different uh, sort of uh, chuckling from around the place, and they all start going back to their various, um, uh, to their various uh, drinks. That's incredibly creepy. Yeah, I was gonna do that. Too. <laughs> that was a, yeah, that was a lot creepier than I made it, but whatever. I just I just got a soundboard module. I'm just trying it out. Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, they all start laughing uh, and kind of going back to their thing, and you kind of hear the the music kind of spin back up. Um, though, while that is still so, a couple of them are still staring at uh, it seems a moon planter, share, and swift. I'm sorry, repeat that. It's... Oh, sorry. No, uh, he they... asked you. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are staring at Moonplanter, Cher, and Swift, a couple of them that don't uh, take their attention away. It's because Who, what we're... are... Oh. What creatures are these? You said mostly Nalls, some Persians. Is, like it, is, it a, is it a gem null? Uh Yes, they are gem nulls. Okay. I like Royal Society to see um, their view on different uh, creatures, I go guess. Go for yeah, it. Same being... Also, for our viewers' sake, in case they don't know, Pony Finder, Gem Nalls are effectively diamond dogs. All right. Uh, Shabaka, what was your question again? Um, uh, what are their views on different creatures, like the main creatures, you know, like ponies, uh, you know, uh, Persians? Bad ponies. Well, the group. Let's just say the everybody in the group. I want to know most how to gem, about each. Most gymnals in the eastern part of the world are known for taking ponies as slaves to help in the mines. It's pretty common practice, actually, uh, to enslave ponies or indentured servitude for one way or another out here in the eastern desert. Or western, well, western desert. Not knowing western. that yet, Swift has just given him a big old grin, the ones that are looking at him. Just like a hearty... Somewhat yeah. confident grin, because he's them, always pretty <laughs> sure of himself. One of them looks uh, to you, Shabaka, at your confident grin. I'll take, I'll buy that one for two gold from you. He says oh, this these aren't for. Uh... He said, no, he says this in null, mind you. So unless you could speak null, oh, you're just no. hearing yips and yaps. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Uh, All right. Okay. That, uh... I just, I just sign it. <laughs> Oh no, respond. There you go. Moon I, what was he saying? <laughs> Hang on, let Moon Planter uh, yeah, talk. What was he saying? Yes. Which one was he gesturing toward when he mentioned that? Uh, he was talking to Shabaka, uh, mentioning, motioning toward uh, Swift, who he is offering to buy for two gold pieces. Two gold. 
Uh, Moon Planter will uh, snidely respond back. Two gold? You must be mad. He's no, he's worth far more than that. We couldn't take less than 15 gold. Oh, uh, what is he good for then? He's nothing good but for, uh, and he kind of thinks, making more of them. Look, he's scrawny, and he kind of points towards <laughs> some of his hooves. Uh, Moon Planter will pull out the uh, the skin that was drying for a day on the ship of the harpy that he cut up, and uh, he unfolds it right there in front of the bar, and he goes, <laughs> he does worse work than this, if you'd like to see. And they all look that way. Give me your intimidation roll. Good. And, I'm just saying here, like, what's going on? <laughs> and uh, he watches you do all this, uh, sitting down. And he kind of looks up and he squints at you. Wait, why are you the one telling me what terms of the deal are? Go get your master. I am the master. I'm the one who speaks your language, not the lot of them. All of them laugh again, as if you had told a second really funny joke. Uh, what's going on, <laughs> Moon Planter? I, I don't Moon, understand. Moon Planter smiles, and uh, he doesn't take his eyes away from the knoll in front of him, but he kind of leans his head toward your direction. They think Swift Sail is for sale, and they don't think I'm the one in charge. So who's the one in who's the one in charge? Uh, apparently not the lot of us. Do you want to be in charge? I'll be your translator for you. Hey, if that works, let's do it. Um, yes, let's continue the spell, Switch Cell. Yes. <laughs> so, let's see where it goes. Okay uh, with this. Little did they all know, Swift right. Sail just meant he's a really fast sail. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's great. All right, so you're translating uh, for Shabaka? Yeah. All right, boss, what do you want to tell him? <clears throat> um, they tell them that y'all aren't for sale. Y'all are too valuable for me. If they uh, hey, it's bare luck next time, but not right now. And Moon Planter will uh, translate that into uh, yips and barks. You translate that into yips and barks, in which all of them look over and they start talking more to you, Shabaka, with the expectation that Moon Planter will translate for them. And uh, Moon Planter, what you uh, what you get from them is, ah, uh, that's a right shame. Would I like to have a couple more friends for some of the ones in the mines down there? And I translate that um, as he's speaking it to Shabaka. Hmm. Well, that's good work, but hey, I bet the ones you already so, got um, me, do good me. work. Oh, hold on, hold so, on. Just as mine does too, so. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what what did, what did you need there, Tangent? I want to make a roll to find out if the banner mains in this town is largely pony, or if it could have some gem knolls as well. Go for it. So, Give me that society roll. That's a perfectly valid society roll thing. Yeah, because that's something my character would know, but I don't. All right, and uh, what you do know uh, is you're not entirely sure what the population of the banner mains here are. All that you know is that uh, just from a book or two or maybe from a passing mention, right. you know that the banner mains here are called the four mains. Hey. Ha, I get it. Got him. We can stop at the laughing. Holy shit. That's... Is it still laughing? Yeah, I just started laughing again on my end. I'm not even... I, I don't know about that one. Oh, yeah, huh? it's still going, huh? Stop. Stop. There you go. We're a funny group of folks. The most fucking creepy laughter ever. And Moon Planter will uh, translate Shabaka's message back to the, the gnolls. All right. Uh, and... Uh... Remind me what the last part of your uh, message there was. It's a shame, but he, and I gesture towards Chewbacca, but he believes we do good work. We do better work for him, you see. <laughs> and one of them kind of uh, steps up. He's a little bit taller than most, and he looks down. I'd like to see one pony who could do better work than my little one. And he gives a wide, almost evil sort of grin. What kind of work? Uh, and he kind of points somewhat more northward, it's like northwestern, uh, and uh, in that direction, 
he can he kind of looks over in the mines up by the mountains I lean over to Shabaka he's challenging us to do better work than his little ones in the mines oh I don't just um, tell him that uh, the kind of work that we do is it doesn't require any digging like that it isn't mining so uh, what you're trying to buy is not the kind of thing you're trying to buy is not what is for what what would you want to get you know um you lost yeah he says leaning back giving a non-committal shrug <sighs> well if we're gonna grab right. a drink i suggest we we get one and then go to the four main so we can get to work all right yeah all right, um, Emily, real quick, uh, quick uh, question, because I was reading up on this, and it seems to be uh, GM's uh, decision. Will you let uh, Amelia attack? Are you going to let her use attacks? There is uh, mechanics for that uh, that you should she, look up on. Well, yeah, she is. gets attacks, but uh, the way that attacks are done are pretty wonky. Like if she wanted to use a weapon, she can, but uh, she would definitely not have any of the training for that weapon, and would I mean it would be largely not beneficial for her to use a weapon, if that's what you're asking. Like a bite is going to do like whatever plus fourteen, fifteen, or modifier is. If you just give her a random weapon, she's not trained in that weapon, which she isn't by default. Like. Uh, then, I mean, she's only going to be rolling like a plus four or something like that. <laughs> like just on her dex or strength or whatever the weapon calls for. So, yeah, these... which is all based upon my stats. Do the dime dogs understand Sylvan? Like, can they understand, can they understand us, but we can't understand them? Is that how it goes? Like a one way screen? Has anyone tried speaking to them in our language? Nope, I, I haven't. No, I don't think nope. we have, so we can't really. Do we really need to speak? Why are we talking to them anyway? We came here to get, I, try it, to get information. It's not. It's not yeah. to them. It's to what? anybody. It's to they're, like local. They're gem gnolls. They'll know about rocks. Hey, yeah. Moon Planner, what's the what's the word in gnoll for Aetherstone? Uh, yep. <laughs> it's what? Yeah, it can't. <laughs> you learned the you learned the word. Now yeah, you, you learned the it. word. All right, fine. I say that word. Uh, and they all like smile at the word. They kind of look toward each other, and they kind of nod, uh, responding once again more towards Shabaka than anything. Either stone is a rare thing. Been looking for it for a while. He says, uh, kind of with a grr in his voice, and once again that grin persists. Where you see one small, uh, uh, one small uh, golden tooth. Mm. <laughs> what do you say? I... He says, "Aether stone is a rare thing. They've been looking for it for a while. Sparkly like the gems they find in those caves." They're oh, sparkly oh, like the gemstones they find in the caves. Well, ask them if, um, if there are like any caves or is there any, like if they get hurt, any whereabouts where there likely will be gemstones? Like, yeah, I got it. Like, the highest chance. We're looking for the Aether Stones, specifically an area that's full of a lot of magical occurrences they all start laughing like you've said now a third joke in a row uh continuing continuing on and why would we give them to you because if you're not finding them moon planter uh pauses and then he looks over to um to shabaka so they're asking why should they give them to us i was going to mention that we could probably clear out the caves for them what do you think boss Sound like a right idea. I speak Go back to, that. I speak back to them and no, because if you're not able to find them, they're probably in an area of the cave that's too dangerous. Well, we are very good at clearing out dangerous areas. 
uh, and it kind and he uh, kind of gives a smile. The one, the biggest one, kind of holds up a uh, paw to the rest of them to kind of calm it down. Well, then you're gonna have to go to the main stitch and ask for a license to mine like the rest of us, won't you? And he smiles. Implanter uh, smiles and nods his head back. We have to go to the main stitch for a license. Yeah, this is. <laughs> It would lay out and it should be, but eh, licenses everywhere, I guess. All right, well, maybe we'll just say uh, thank you, thank you for your help, uh, and uh, we'll be able to get going then. Get our licenses. Yeah. Right. Uh, Moonplant will put his head to them and say, Thank you for your help. We'll be on our way. And they all kind of nod a little bit as you guys turn back to the door wearing multiple little. Uh, mining shoes can be seen each with varying different dust and one of them uh, like more red than the others before more suddenly you see the door is kind of like open and it isn't immediately apparent what's going through then you look down a little bit somewhat of a short hooved pony somewhat looks like a mallard in a way is running past you running right up to that big scary uh, null that had just quieted down the room a little bit sir sir she seems to be uh, more than happy. Kind of comes up, sits up on the thing, and he looks down. Oh, let's see. And the small, short hoofed sort of Pegasus uh, presents what seems to be a very small, single pebble of that same weird, uh, pearlescent, dark stone that you guys have seen before. She sets it down. I found something! And she smiles. And that's where we're going to end session today, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! Ooh, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I've got like eight hours before I need to do something useful like sleep. Come on. We started late. I uh, know. Oh, the... we'll, we'll get this squared away next week. We should be used for the new, the new time and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. So say bye to everybody. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.